welcome back to another video. Uh, today you can see you joined on a Mac desktop. Um, this is actually a burr metal Hackintosh that I'm going to be showing you how to set up today. Uh, so let me just show you the specs really quick. So you can see I've got a quad core i5 in here which is actually second generation i5. I know that that's an old one but it works. 16 gigs of RAM which is brilliant. And a GT632 gigabyte. So if I go on system report, you can see that uh, this is fully supported through Metal. So I don't even need to install any um, software drivers for that, um, which is great. And it detects my uh, displays correctly, my storage, and the memory slots, which is brilliant. Uh, so, join me on the Windows PC uh, and I'll show you how to set one up. So as you can see we're on the PC now um, and you can see I'm on this page, this is the download link. Uh, I've already posted the link in the blog that I'm preparing now. Um, but what you want to do, you want to get a software called Free Download Manager. That I'll leave a link in my blog. I'll just show you what the software looks like. This is the software. Um, you can click add and then you put the link here. Click OK. Oh, sorry. So you put the link, which I will get for you now. And you paste it in. Okay. Click OK and it will say query and info. And then you can see Narish Mahabe click download now and then it'll do it. I've already got mine downloaded so I won't need to do that again. But once you've done that we're gonna actually move on to getting it uh, installed. Okay. So uh, let's do that. So um, we're gonna use a software called Transmac. So you can download it from the link below, which is uh, on my blog, if you're following it. Um, and basically, we're going to right-click on our USB that we've inserted. If you haven't, just insert it and then go to Tools at the top. You won't be able to see this. But you go to Tools and then Refresh Drive List. When you've got your um, USB inserted, right-click and click Restore with Disk Image. Again, you won't be able to see this. If When it says that it may contain mounted PC volumes, just click yes. And then it should say select the image to restore. So I'm going to do Narish Mahave. So you can see right here. Click OK. Yes. And then you should receive a message like this. So we're going to wait for this to uh, restore even though it says formatting. So I'll be back when we are finished. Also whilst we're writing, if you wondered why we're doing Mojave first, it's because when I tried Catalina, uh, I had some problems installing. So we're going to do Mojave and update to Catalina. As you can see, it says restore complete. So. Now all we want to do is take out the USB from our computer and head over to our desktop computer or our Hackintosh machine that we're going to actually use. So I've um, got mine uh, ready. So once we've plugged everything in, you want to turn on and hold your boot option key or your BIOS key. I'm going to hold the boot option key. So, I'm going to hold it, keep pressing the boot option key. So you can see I'm in the uh, boot options menu. We're going to first go to BIOS setup. So I'm on a Dell OptiPlex 7010, but it should be fairly simple uh, for any BIOS. So we want to make sure that our legacy option, uh, our boot list option, or our boot mode, set to UEFI as you can see mine is. I want to take out any um, network interface cards that we have 
when I hit apply. Also, just for uh, just for sanity, enable um, Intel Turbo Boost and virtualization support. Once you've done that, we're going to restart. Click exit, and it will restart. Um, and we are now going to boot our Hackintosh installer. So you can see the one time boot, boot menu. And we're going to select our USB. Now mine's SanDisk. And we want to make sure we select the UEFI version, which I'm going to do. Press Enter. And we should hit a claw of the boot screen. Um, which you'll see right about now. So you can see there. We have uh, no level because this used to be a Linux machine, and then we have the macOS install. So we're going to press enter. Uh, it's going to actually boot it in verbose mode, uh, which does this, um, which is really weird. But we're going to wait for it to boot. I won't let you. I won't keep you waiting. So you can see we have a mouse in the top left. And now we have the Apple logo, so that means that we're successfully beaten and it's passed all of its verbose checks, uh, which is great. So we're going to wait for it to boot. Does take quite a while to boot. And then go over to Utilities at the top and go to Terminal. Then we're going to type in Debt. And we're going to type in Zero three zero three four zeros two zero one now. Then we should get the prompt. We just want to close terminal on that using the quit like shown below. And then go to disk utility. So we're gonna click view and then show all devices and then erase Mac OS and then APFS is the format. Make sure it's GUID and click Erase. Shouldn't take long. As you can see, the Erase process is complete. Click Continue and Close Disk Utility. We want to select macOS and click Customize. We want to make sure that the Ethernet kecks are loaded, which they are, they're ticked. Make sure Apple ALC is loaded. Just then click Continue. As you can see now, it's going to uh, install, so we're going to wait for that. So at some point, you'll get put back in the Hackintosh uh, Clover, but we're just going to wait for it to boot again. Now, it shouldn't do this much more, and we should be greeted with setup screen. From this point, you configure it as a real Mac. Again, at some point, we should be greeted with the Apple logo, as you can see below. It will boot up a lot quicker uh, than it was loaded on the USB, obviously because I'm installed it on an SSD. But it could take very time, depending on the hardware and uh, other factors as such. So we're going to wait for it to boot. So you can see uh, it's ready and we can set it up as if it was a real Mac. Uh, the resolution is fine um, and we're just going to actually set it up as if it was a real Mac right now. So as you can see we are on the uh, Mac OS Mojave desktop and uh, we've officially installed Mac OS. Brilliant. Um, so if we go to about this Mac, you can see the specs are i5, 16 gigs of RAM and the graphics. If we go on to system report and go to graphics dash displays you can see it's fully supported using mac os family metal so uh, that's it full gpu pass through everything um, if you wanted to upgrade to catalina um, you just go on to settings and then software update and then you'll get uh, update to catalina 
Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.